Jaywalkers out there, glad to see you again. We're at a milestone. It's episode 10. Let's go. Welcome back to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. For this week's episode, we're going to try to shoot with my Osmo Pocket Camera. Which, as a matter of fact, I haven't used since the pandemic has started. But I actually wanted to see if the audio and video quality was okay with you guys. So let me know in the comments below if you think this camera is okay to use for future episodes. I mean, this camera is pretty cool, cause look, no hands. And this camera also follows me wherever I go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Also wanted to let you guys know that this morning, as I was looking at my stocks, everything was bleeding red. I mean everything. So basically, just wanted to let you guys know that I've lost over $1,500 in my stocks over the past month. But if you want to look at it from a positive note, it means that there was a sale on stocks. So I decided to invest a little bit of money into Zoom. Zoom. But I got some good news though. The fiance made some vegetarian lasagna last night that I thought was the best vegetarian lasagna I've ever tasted in my life. So I just wanted to say thank you very much, fiance, for the amazing lasagna from last night. So you know those instances where you see somebody you think you know? You look down, and then you look back at them to see if they recognized you? Well, that happened to me last night. I actually ran into one of my classmates from Ryerson, Brad. And I even told him that I'd give him a quick shout out on my YouTube video. And it's cool because I probably run into him at least once a year. Anyways, Brad, here's your shout out. Hope to run into you again, and maybe we can fire drones together in the future. But anyways, tonight I'm gonna go back into work, work some OT, because we're short again. OT, OT, there's never much love when we go OT. And to also try to pay off those stock mistakes that I made in the past month. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I just woke up from my post night shift nap, and last night when I was at work, it looked like tonight's night shift was gonna work short staffed. So I called in to see if I can work tonight's night shift in order to have tomorrow's night shift taken off. So it looks like I'm going in tonight working my sixth shift in seven nights. But yeah, it's crazy because now that I'm working tonight's night shift, I got a lot of things to do in the couple of hours before my night shift. So let's go. Good luck to me, cause I don't cook. Before I go into my night shift tonight, just want to have a happy birthday greeting to Miss C. I met this young lady when we both had placements at the same elementary school in Brookhaven back when we were doing our undergrad. And the thing that was cool was that we helped run volleyball sessions for the students while we were there. And at this time, it looks like she's staying fit doing workouts from home during the pandemic. Anyways, Miss C, I hope you're doing well and you're staying safe and you have a great birthday. I also wanted to wish a happy birthday to Anda. One of my Ryerson colleagues that I met back when I was in university. Years have passed by, now you're married, got a family. Hope you and your family are celebrating your birthday well today. Happy birthday, Anda. So after a stretch of overtime shifts at work, I finally have a day off. But today's a little bittersweet because it's the end of an era of a sports talk show that I've followed for more than a decade. The dynamic duo of Tim McAuliffe and Sid Sixero has their last episode on Sportsnet later on today. And it kind of sucks because I followed these guys back before their Sportsnet days, back at The Score and Headline Sports. So now I have to find a new show to watch before I go to work in the evenings. So if you guys have any suggestions on what to watch, feel free to comment below.
our last show, 17 years. Know what I mean, baby. I just want to shout out Jay and Daniel. It's not easy what we do. God bless, God bless all of you, Tim. I love you so much. <laughs> I appreciate everything that you've done for my career. And this started as a dinky little show on a dinky little station. We had dreams of doing something big. And here we are, 17 years later. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, a cheers to you, my friend. And a cheers to everyone who has gone on this ride with us. Salute. So to Tim and Sid, just want to thank you guys for educating us for the past 17 years. Sincerely yours from the Tim and citizens out there, including me. And I guess for some reason today is just not my lucky day. I dropped my iPhone SE and I don't know if you can see it, but it is now cracked. It kind of sucks because the case that the iPhone is in is in a life proof case. And I don't know if I told you this, but these cases are pretty expensive. And I did have one of these cases before, but the thing is, they claim it's waterproof. But unfortunately, when I submerged my phone under water that one time, it got water damaged and the case is not waterproof. So a bad review with this is that it's not waterproof, it's not dustproof because I can see dust inside the case, as well as it's not drop proof. And even if I did want to get one of these cases exchanged, LifeProof doesn't have it in stock. All they offered me was a 20% off coupon to get a new case. Which I think is useless considering they said that they had a lifetime warranty. So in my honest opinion, thumbs down for life proof. So now, either I have to get this repaired or have to pay out of pocket for a new one. Well, instead of sulking over my broken phone, might as well wish people happy birthday today. Just wanted to wish a happy birthday to Stephanie. An old family friend of mine whose sister was pretty good friends with my sister back in the day. Hope you're doing all right out there, Stephanie, and you have a great birthday. I also got a birthday greeting to PK. Happy birthday. This brother I've known for years, working with him inside the hospital, as well as hanging out with him outside of the hospital. I don't know if he knows this, but this dude has also been a role model for me, helping me mentor me through different stages in my life, just showing kindness, positivity, and generosity in all aspects of his own life. I hope you, Rudy, and Liv are doing well. You stay safe out there, PK, and you have a great birthday, bro. Went to bed about 1 a.m. last night, was only able to sleep a couple of hours, and look what time it is. 6 or 7 a.m. And this is how long I slept last night. 3 hours and 16 minutes. So either I can try to go back to sleep or get my day started 13 hours before I go in for night shift tonight. After a couple weeks, I'm hoping that I'll get a new phone in the mail. And I'll definitely do a review on it, so stay tuned for that. So I'm gonna go eat dinner, go in for my night shift, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Sunday, February 28th, the end of the month. I'm gonna do my monthly visit post night shift to go see my Lola. Continue to pray for us, Lola. Continue to guide us in everything that we do, and we'll see you next time. Okay? Miss you, Lola. Woke up from a post-night shift nap, and I don't know if I told you guys this already, but this morning, there was a sick call for tonight's night shift. So yeah, I guess I'm going back into work tonight. But before I do that, I got some birthday greetings. Wanted to wish a very happy birthday to Paula. I remember being first introduced to you when we were back at Wysik, over back when my sister used to live there, and partying with you, playing poker with Eddie, Adam, and all of them. But anyways, Paula, I wish you a happy birthday. Hope you're doing great. I also don't want to exclude the leap year babies who have their birthday on February 29th, but we'll celebrate them right now. Happy birthday to Sonia! 
an old Ryerson colleague that I did a couple group projects with, as well as graduated with me back in 2009. Hope you have a great birthday, Sonia, and you take care. Also wanted to do a birthday greeting to Ron. Although I haven't seen this guy in a long time, who works as an RT in the hospital with me, I just want to wish him a happy birthday, say hi to Ketty for me, and congratulations on the new little one. I bet you any money that after doing 8 out of 10 night shifts, that I looked haggard right now. I was actually so excited to get the opportunity to sleep in today, sleeping at 10.30 in the morning post night shift, thinking I can sleep in until 3 or 4, but I forgot that we had duct cleaning coming in at, what time is it right now? 1 o'clock. But hopefully, I'll get to go back to sleep soon. But if not, might as well cut to the next segment and say, it's time for the lesson of the week. Hope you guys like that lesson of the week and I hope you guys use that hack in the future. But anyways, I just heard the door knock so let's go check out what it is. Ooh, it looks like a package from Amazon. Let's see what this baby is. My new case from my iPhone 12 mini. This better work because it says waterproof, waterproof, waterproof. I also got a second item that's here, but you'll have to catch next week's episode to see what it is. So stay tuned. But before we sign off this week, I got a birthday greeting to Albert. Happy birthday. Remember our times back in 2011 traveling with you in the group to World Youth Day, as well as randomly running into you finding out that we both work at the same hospital. And seeing that video of you on Facebook for your birthday, doing a birthday run, I like that. Keep that up, man. Anyways, Albert, hope you have a good birthday and you stay safe out there. Also wanted to do a quick birthday shout out to Jess. Happy birthday, Jess. This girl I've known since my Ryerson days, who surprised me by working at the same hospital I was at after 10 years of not seeing her. Hope you're doing well, Jess. Hope you have a happy birthday and hope you're staying safe out there. Now that we're coming to the end of the episode, just want to thank you guys for watching and be sure to follow Jaywalker POV on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Be sure to like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications button to see future videos from Jaywalker POV. And you guys stay safe and healthy out there and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.